it's no accident that the word web has a bearing on both the World Wide Web, the internet, through which you're watching this video, and a spider's web, of course. And on the surface of it, it may seem quite obvious why the comparison exists. However, I think there's a much deeper layer, and we talk to our clients about this all the time. A web is essentially a fabric from which other things come forth. For the spider, the spider knows where to put the web. It knows who its target is. It knows what appeals to the target. It knows uh, where the target will go, what the behavior will be like. And so the, the, the spider places its web in the optimal location uh, to engage as many of those targets as possible. And the way the spider does that is by building an intricate framework uh, of elements of the web that uh, when combined create um, a very uh, uh, light touch and yet extremely strong and um, engaging uh, mechanism for which the spider uh, is rewarded by being introduced to loads of targets of course so one of the really interesting points about that is that the spider does this subconsciously the spider doesn't sit there with a blueprint going right we need to do something here and something there the spider knows what's going on and in your business you need to have the same sense about the web you create now in this context i'm not talking about a spider's web of course i'm talking about a marketing web and even more specifically what i call a content web you see the web whether it's the World Wide Web, whether it's the Spider's Web, or whether it's your marketing web or your content web, those webs are a fabric from which other things are cut. In the mechanism of a spider's web, there is an omniverse of touch points. What do I mean by that? There's, there's strands everywhere in every direction, and uh, they, all of those touch points are an entry point for a target to come into the web. Every single one of those, you know, minuscule millimeters of spider's web is a way in. Additionally, um, the same is true with your content web. People can come to your business through any content via multiple means. Um, ultimately, what that means is you have to have value everywhere, absolutely everywhere. And you have to give people no way out. Now, in the context of customers, what we mean by no way out is no reason to leave. The value has to be huge. Your content web has to cover a significant amount of ground in the right place based on your target behavior, who your targets are, what they do, what they like, what they consume, what they hate, what they run away from, what they move towards. All of those things create your content web. And when you get it right, what happens is your targets enter your content web in one place and they move around in the web and in the web could be across multiple channels it could be email it could be social it could be video it could be events it could be literally any mix of channels um, but there's no way out there's no reason for them to leave because the value is so huge leaving you the only job left to do and that is the same for you and the spider you just have to listen to the vibrations pay attention to the noises coming out of the people in your web, and then obviously do something with that.